He's a tinker man, he's a tinker man, a servant of the worshippers he. He can take some parts out a little hard. Hello, I'm Tinker of Tinker's Tales, and you might know me for being the, uh, the big YouTube internet sensation that only I can be. Now today I have been asked, uh, in a very humble and modest kind of way, if I could read a poem of peace and justice. Uh, I did not choose this piece, it was chosen by me, it's on the old, uh, the old uh, Android here, the novelty Android, uh, and this is, are you sure this is the poem I'm meant to be reading? Okay, because you chose it. I'm just going to read it. A, a poem of peace and justice by Sylvia Plath, Tale of a Tub. The photographic chamber of the eye record, records bare painted walls while an electric light lays the chromium nerves of plumbing raw. Such poverty assaults the ego court. Naked in the merely actual room, the stranger in the lavatory mirror puts on a public grin, repeats our name, but scrupulously reflects the usual terror. Just how guilty are we then of the ceiling reveals no cracks that can be decoded when Washbowl maintains it has no more holy calling than physical evolution. And the towel dryly disclaims that fierce troll faces lurk in its exploited folds. Or when the window, blind with steam, will not admit the dark which shrouds our prospects in ambiguous shadow. Twenty years ago, the familiar tub bred an ample batch of omens, but now water faucets spawn no danger. Each crab and octopus, scrabbling just beyond the view, waiting for some accidental break-in ritual, to strike. It's definitely gone. The authentic sea denies them and will pluck fantastic flesh down to the honest bone. And that was Tale of a Tub by Sylvia Plath. Well, the first three verses, that's uh, all I've got time for. I'm Tinker of Tinker's Tales. Achieve and be proud. He's a tinker man, he's a tinker man, a servant of the worshippers he. He can take some parts out a little hard and make an invention you need. He's a tinker man, he's a tinker man, spiced not like you and me. He can make some